Hey guys, welcome back to the Marking Out Network. I am Neo Pretty Boy Thomas here, playing everybody's favorite wrestling game, WWE 2K22. And I am going to be putting my title on the line in a Hell in a Cell match. If you guys have been following my videos, which I'm hoping that you have, um, this is the epic conclusion of my best of seven series with Drew McIntyre. We're going to end this motherfucker in a Hell in a Cell. Let's go. Man, I am tired of facing Drew McIntyre, but you know what? He's been a formidable, a formidable opponent, I should say. And uh, what better way to end a rivalry with Hell in a Cell, man? Hell in a Cell matches are really something special. It takes a certain type of dude to step into Hell in a Cell and, you know, go through what they do. Because these matches... You enter one way, you leave out a different way, man. These these are extremely physical, extremely violent, extremely brutal. And I think when both guys leave in one piece, they have a certain respect for each other. Um, I think case in point, Cody Rhodes uh, earned a lot of people's respect going into Hell in a Cell match against Seth Rollins early, uh, earlier this year with a torn peck. That was the la nastiest fucking thing I think I've ever seen in my life, man. But the fact that he... Not only did the match, but the match itself was actually pretty good. Um, ended up getting five stars, I believe, from good old Dave. Um, it's quite, quite the testament to his uh, dedication to the business, his professionalism, um, and it's just his love to perform because that's something that you typically don't see, man. If, if he said, nah, I can't go... I mean, they could add somebody else filling the spot, and Completely I think people would have been fine with that and respect Cody Rhodes' decision because WWE. what these guys do to their bodies, man, you only got so many bumps in you, and you got to be very selective. But uh, on a personal note, I think, uh, man, after all these years, there's been a lot of great Hell in a Cell matches, but I think my, my favorite one is Undertaker Mankind. I think I watched that in 1998. Quick story, my friend used to record the pay-per-views for me. And he brought him over to my house, and he was like, dude, you got to see this fucking match. You're not going to fucking believe what you're going to see. So I watched it on my old school uh, TV with the built-in VHS uh, tape, uh, VCR, I should say. And, man, it was the damnedest thing I've ever seen in my life, man. Um, it was just crazy. Mankind was insane. Undertaker just beat the living shit out of him. And the fact that he was able to walk out of that match is is incredible stuff. More modern uh, Hell in a Cell matches. I did like Taker, Triple H. That was a really good one. The Cody Rhodes Seth Rollins was very good. Um, and it's just, yeah, it takes a certain type of guy to enter a Hell in a Cell match. But you know what? Neil Pretty Boy Thomas is putting his title on the line in Hell in a Cell, man. Versus Drew McIntyre, the Scottish Warrior. Look at him twitching over there. He's fucking nervous. Man, McIntyre's been a thorn in my ass, man, for sure. But we gonna do this thing. Man, that cage, the Hell in a Cell, looks so fucking small in this arena. I've had a couple Hell in a Cell matches in this game, but not that many of them. Boo! You failed against Roman. I think one of my, uh, maybe my second all-time favorites, probably Shawn Michaels and Undertaker in the first one. That was another great match. The champion from Those are matches I can watch any point. Like, if the, I mean, yeah, you have to make a point of watching them, but like, I would watch it fully all the way through. It's matches that you never get tired of. Pretty boy Thomas. This title, you are primed for big I don't things. like the fact that they have a point of a Hell in a Cell pay-per-view because I feel like a Hell in a Cell match should happen organically. Like, you build up a rivalry. Like, this is the only way to end it. Not, okay, here's the pay-per-view. Now we have to plan for a Hell in a Cell and build up a rivalry for the pay-per-view. It's like, I feel like it should be... Either it ha it's going to happen or it's not. Let's go! Social media chatter, the bell has finally been rung. I'm 
this championship match. The time for talk is over. The time for talk is done. Let's do this thing. Again, traditionally, McIntyre always gets a jump on me. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. I'm already fucking dazed. Oh, he let me recover. All right, that's cool with me. All tangled up. Wham! Down you go, McIntyre. And he sends him into the corner. Looking a little out of it. Up on that turnbuckle. Oh, this could very. Nah, well deny me already, fucker. McIntyre reverses and looks to capitalize. Counter after counter. Oh, he's already grabbing some shit. Oh, you want to do this, huh? For something beneath the ring. Take a good look I'll wait for you. I'll grab the stop sign. Titan, folks. I'll take that. Now nah, he grabbed it. Oh, uh, I thought I was going to get him on the stop sign. Fuck. It is almost impossible to prepare for hell on earth, but Corey, what is the key to coming out? Wham! Of you gotta do things you never thought you'd have to do before, that you never wanted to do before, because this is an environment like no other. <laughs> they just throw him on him. Shit, no. Fighting back with a counter. Tough position to be caught in here. Let's toss my ass around. Established dominance. The champ now absorbing a little damage. Ooh, bad landing. He's throwing me around. Come on, man. Actually, do something. Bang. Damn, that's something. Fucking stop sign. Down with a brain buster. That'll scramble your brain. Yeah, it will. That's why it's called a brain buster. Fucking Corey Graves. Sent right into the corner. Oh, look at this. This is gonna be nasty. Oh yeah. Corner. Ouch. Psycho cutter. And psycho cutter. Woo. See what I can find over here. Let's grab a table, guys. Of all the toys underneath the ring, he just had to go with the one that ensures splinters. Oh, I thought I was going to throw my ass in the steps. They don't give you much room to work out here, man, and I hate it. It's hard to counter. It's hard to do anything out here. It's fucking outside oh, with this cage. You can throw me around. At least throw me through it so we can get on top of the fucking thing because that's, that's what everybody wants. With an uppercut. There we go. Did I get it? Oh man! No. Oh! Man, you cannot do anything out here. Shit. He finds a there we go. Finally. There. Come on. Oh. Come on. Why doesn't he run all the way down? Shit. Oh. Oh. Can't really do much out here. Shit, man. Right Just put, oh. blast me through it, McIntyre. Come on, do it. Oh, God. It wants to break. Come on, McIntyre. Fucking do it. Man, you can't even counter out here. Nothing, man. Shit. Those last hits rattled the champ. And this is where Why does he keep pausing like that? It's so weird. Like he's giving me a chance to come back. As we head into deep waters. He's trying to break it for sure. Look at he's got full green. I'm almost dead already. The match just started. What the fuck? Jesus Christ, man. Oh. Oof. Lands the 
Rainmaker. Oh, out. Either throw me through the fucking cage or throw me back in the ring. I think that's what he's trying to do, but he can't. Come on, man. Do it already. And the fact that yeah, I can't counter for shit. Oh. Ugh. Even the com the commentators are like, you you're boring us guys. What the fuck? Do something. Ooh, hoo, hoo. The champ's taking an immense amount of damage. And this Thank is, you, uh, finally. Well, not looking good. My god, man. Oh god, what a brain buster. Man, he got right back up. Oh, there's that stupid sign again. This isn't gonna be good. Sky high. Sky high. Drew McIntyre. Oh, busting him open. Profusely. Now. profusely. Oh, McIntyre holding him at bay. Got him. There we go. Finally, this match is getting going here. Oh my god, seriously? Back with their own he tried to hit me with the claymore, motherfucker. I countered on your ass. Go through this motherfucking table already. Oh, no, Finally, oh, shit, down. man. Alright, we're going up top, baby. Wham! All right, time to take your ass outside. Boom. Now the outside Come on, McIntyre, right get your big ass up. Walls. Oh my God! Counter. Quick exchange of counters there. Guys, Finally, here we go. I just saw that. Things just got taken to a whole new level. The fury of this match is just incredible. He's making the clock. All right, we're going up top, baby. Well, that's like what everybody wants to see. That's what you got to do to win this thing. He's got something in mind here. I don't think I want to know what it is. Safety clearly isn't a concern for him right Safety now. Safety is not on our minds for sure. Come on, McIntyre, motherfucker. He's here we go. Wham. And with every step up there, the amount of fear on these superstars increases. The top of the cell is like walking Cycle cutter on top of the hell in a cell, baby. Wham. Ah, you motherfucker. Nope. Oh, shit. Way up there. Everyone in this building is just waiting on no, try to hit me with the Claymore again. Countered his ass. Oh, shit. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> I thought he's going to go through it. Let's see if I can get him here. Oh, look at that suplex. Oh, again. Can it be? Will the rain continue? One more time. Oh, he countered it. He's oh. Swinging neck breaker. Oh, Claymore on top. He finally connected. But you can't pin me up here, motherfucker. Damn. I'm dead. <laughs> Is he going to throw me over? Tossing my ass around. Chain fence buckling with every impact. Uh oh. Wham. Suplex lights up. 
Half and half suplex. Lights out. McIntyre gets away from that. Whoa, ran into each other. All ten Is he going to go through? No. Oh. We've seen some battles up on the cell and nothing good ever comes of it. No. Man. These are big power moves becoming more devastating with every Looking for the suplex. Oh shit. And actually the other one broke. Kiss your dreams. Good night. Oh no. One of the most dreaded maneuvers in all of Oh shit. How can they even It's kind of be it. I'm trying. I don't think there's a way to actually. You'll do anything you have to to drag him to hell. Hard impact on the back. Throw him down that way. I don't think I can. I don't think I can throw him down that way. I'm pretty certain I can't. Oh well. He's fucking dead, man. A nervous energy has come across this arena as war is waged on top of the cell. Man, the Wait, no. wow. oh shit! Oh, I thought he was gonna suplex me down. Crashing down with a vertical suplex. We knew we were in for with this matchup, but we didn't think the hell was gonna be let loose above the cell. Oh my God! Oh, oh shit! Are you kidding me? <laughs> he fucking fell being. off. I think we finally have the oh my God! Can I drop an elbow on him? Are willing to go to have their own oh shit! I wasn't expecting that. God and damn! To pay to get set answer. Sucks for you, McIntyre. <laughs> oh shit! I was not expecting that. I have to drag his his ass all the way to the other side. Fuck. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, he's going back up again? Oh, my God. He wants fucking more, huh? Well, let me climb it. Oh, there we go. He wants more. He just fell off the top of the... Off the top of the cage. Now he wants to fight me continuously. God damn you, McIntyre. Oh, shit. Oh, he's gonna throw me over now? Oh shit, I countered it. Turning the tables. All tangled up. Packet powerbomb. Are these superstars even aware of the peril they're in? I think they have blinders no. on Saxon. I don't think they're completely aware of their surroundings. They just have tunnel vision for each other. He's burying elbows in the midsection. Oh shit. DDT. Yeah, now we do. For these gladiators who are putting life and limb on the line right now. Oh, foot just stomping down. I was going to say, what do I got a feeling I'm going to be the one going through the cage? Packet powerball. This is beyond dangerous. This is more than reckless. No one should be up there, let alone performing these maneuvers. Wham. Oh shit. We're gonna fall through it. <laughs> Alright, man. Here's the third time. This third one oh. up the engine on the ambulance. I got a very bad feeling about where these competitors are gonna end Yeah, up. me too. Oh look at that suplex. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking knew it. I knew that would happen. Let's see, is that it? That's gotta be over. He fell twice off the fucking cage. One, two, three. It's over. My God. Jesus Christ. All right, that's the end of our uh, best of seven series at Poor Short Extreme Rules Hell in a Cell match. Wasn't the greatest Hell in a Cell of all time. Sure, certainly didn't rival Undertaker Mankind, but I'm still 
the motherfucking champion, Neil Pretty Boy Thomas. McIntyre, you're done. That's it. Guys, if you like this video, please hit like, please subscribe, please listen out to the Marking Out Network podcast available on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. Uh, what was my rating for this match? Was it five or probably four? I think it was four and a half, maybe. Yeah, four. It was all right. All right, that's the video, guys. Bye.